okay let's create an interface where we can create categories and sort products according to categories so let's do that and here I'll create um, a folder go call categories okay so here I'll create a new file index dot blade dot PSP so yeah that will uh, extends the layout admin layout so here I will create a nav bar for uh, categories so I have little snippet here for nav bar I'll create a basic nav bar called categories so actually we'll loop through uh, categories and we'll display it in this item here so so I'll put the if condition so if uh, not empty so if products will be not empty okay so sorry categories so if categories is not empty we'll show that okay so this step is important if there is no uh, if we didn't put this thing uh, it will throw error if there is no categories okay so yeah uh, after that uh, we will we'll display here categories so category name okay okay so next uh, we'll uh, create a model window a uh, small model to add uh, our categories okay so inside here let's add three model okay so title will be add category let's just copy this into here okay so uh, here inside model body will create a form okay actually we'll create a form outside of this so that it will ra uh, wrap all the content here okay Okay, we'll put everything in model content inside our form okay so here so here we'll put our text field so form text and it will be name okay name of model all right so we'll make this uh, button of type submit okay okay it looks good so now in categories controller we have to uh, handle this okay let's do that so up here so index page first of all we have to uh, 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 do the query to catch all the categories and we have to pass that into that view okay so first let's create view okay we already created view inside admin category dot index okay so now we need to pass the categories So category all okay my ID is automatically just importing this you have to you might have to add this okay cool so uh, 
we have to pass that here compact okay so now uh, that should show us this uh, categories form okay so the route is category okay actually this is content little bit mistake there okay so no data and if we hit category it should show us model okay cool okay now let's uh, test this whether this is creating form yeah actually we haven't created anything in our store okay so we have to create that so yeah category create and we'll pass request all all right so after that we'll uh, return back cool so now that should create a category and show it here Okay, let's test this new uh, let's create men yeah that created men okay so now our category is showing here uh, now next we'll create a uh, we'll create a uh, below here product section where we'll sort the product according to these categories okay okay now inside category index uh, below this div we'll create a section where we'll be uh, we'll put products so let's do that products okay we want to show this section only if uh, products is set or not in empty products all right so if product is not empty we want to show that and if so we'll create small table here so here we'll put products and we'll loop through products to create our yeah so and sorry for each products as product cool let's make it for else because if there is no product we want to show nothing cool so here we'll show for now just product name product name okay so let's refresh that yeah it shouldn't show anything because we are not passing the products in this view okay so we are just passing this categories here okay now if someone clicks on this category we want to show the uh, matching products okay so we'll do that in uh, below here uh, show method okay so we'll need these two from index just copy down here so okay so one thing we have to add is for products so products should be like mm, first we have to find category and we have to find the category with this id and then we have defined relationship uh, called products so that will fetch all the products uh, related to this category okay this category so you can see here we have defined the relationship as many products all right so we have to pass that here so if you are passing array more than one item you have to put array here and passing products cool okay 
so it will not show anything yet because we are not hitting that route this show one okay so we, we only want to hit that route if someone clicks on these links so let's update those links inside category index so where is uh, that link here so we want to put that route here so yeah so route name is uh, category dot so okay so this accepts one parameter called category id so we'll pass that cool so if now we hit that it should show products no data okay so men no data because uh, there is no product with these id let's assign that so seven and six are the id let's put that inside here let's put seven cool now let's refresh yeah we should see the products okay so yeah this is how you uh sort the products according to categories okay now if you go to add product space here uh you should see okay we have to just update here I have hard coded this man here uh, while testing before so inside product uh, create you can uh, find the categories here I have hard coded this uh, now we don't need to do that just put categories okay so remember we are passing that uh, in our from our products controller inside create we are passing these categories here all right let's refresh yeah so now we are seeing men woman okay now next you can add here categories so we'll do that side nav okay so uh, we'll add So we'll add another list item called category and we'll just need one category dot index. Okay, so here it should take us to this page. All right, okay. So next, uh, as an exercise, what you can do is you can just uh, create more categories and uh, make uh, so that in your front end, okay, uh, if you need to, just add a nav and show the products according to categories. Okay, that will be good exercise. Yeah, so that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.